is we're going to grind a little bit. We're going to do the Hawaiian hunt for a little bit. Do a little bit of, do a little bit of farming in this area. going on oh you're all still alive huh scrounging around for anything valuable and i found this hunk of junk here's the thing ain't it won't budge at all hmm. seems like it might be worth something if it were still moving oh uh, well add it to the list of creepy bullshits i suppose wait the well ye dauntless travelers hmm? some kind of broken robot might just be out of juice. Mind if I take a look? <laughs> I know. You know about this stuff, Tommy? Mm. A bit. A bit. Strange. It should be working now. It's almost like it's sleeping. It's probably too busted up. Weird. I feel like I've seen it before somewhere. Whoever made it uh, had no taste, though. What did you just say to Michi? <laughs> huh? It. It talked. I was designed to be the very best in mascot marketing. I am Robo Michio. Huh? Robo Michio. Oh, I get it. That's why it looks so familiar. Some kind of spin off of, of Ono Michio. Wait, how do you know about Ono Michio? Isn't he just a mascot of some tiny port town in Hiroshima? Well, yeah, but still, everybody knows Ono Michio. He's a hit with fans worldwide. Most people consider him king of the mascots. The apex of Japanese culture itself. The, the apex of Japanese culture. Honestly, check any shopping center. You'll find boatloads of Michi merch. Legitimate or bootleg. He's just that popular. Come to think of it. I heard... I'd heard talk of some kind of mechanized Michio. Never knew they actually came out with that. Affirmative Michi. I am Robo Michi. Yo, Michi. So what is it doing out here? I wonder. I'm equipped with a suit of security functions. As such, I was stationed here to ward off trespassers, did you? However, it would seem that I ran out of power, allowing the area to become infested with criminal scum, did you? Uh. You think if they were gonna leave security to a robot, they give it an extension cord or something. So now that you're working again, are you gonna head inside and sweep all the troublemakers out? Nietzsche, much to my chart, uh, chagrin. I currently lack the necessary energy to engage in combat. Without full power, I can only operate in safety mode. Are you familiar with the Game Gear, the iconic portable entertainment device released by the Sega Corporation in 1991, featuring such classic titles as Defenders, Oasis, and Sonic Drift 2? Many have dreamed its very life, have deemed its very life in my own, of. Uh, uh, Abominably similar Michi. <laughs> we just talked about that in the last one. That's a pretty obscure example. <laughs> Even in recovery mode, it takes Michi several days or longer to fully charge. Sheesh, that really is crap. So what? You can't do anything about the labyrinth? It is regrettably it is a regrettable situation. My programming compels me to deal with these Michi miscreants. Yet my code iron body cannot comply. Wait a Michi. Huh? Wait a what? Perhaps throwing flesh at the problem may prove effective. Um. Please, if I do not complete my Michi mission, how will I ever face my creator? For a semi-evolved primate, you seem fairly sturdy. Your expression also suggests an exploitative sense of justice that you otherwise have very little keeping you occupied. The robot's kind of an asshole. <laughs> what if I were to offer you comp? Uh, recompense. Human society, I am told, functions by withholding vital resources for the masses unless they perform ceaseless menial labor, Michi. Thoughts? Stupid machines got a point. Plus, we wanted to test our skills and get stronger, right? Yeah, I guess so. Fine. We're probably going to go away, go, going to go back in anyway, but not for its sake, for the people trapped inside. Thank you very Michi. Once my charge is complete, 
I will be sure to assist you. Further, Michi, if you like, I can offer you advice on the many dangers with me. Lastly, how shall I address you in the future? I suggest Rono Michio. Let's just go with Ichiban Kazuga. A pleasure, Michiban Kazuga. I wish you the best of your human luck. Whew, that was something, alright. I know we'll get stronger from it, though. All right, let's go inside. Oh, oh we have a like, recovery. Oh, Michi Bun, son, you're back. Let's see what I can. I'll have like one sixty of these. I never really needed ice crystal, but I think that's for post. Linebackers wristband. I wonder what kind of item that would be. Save keys would be really good, but we have 27. We're at a pretty good stock of that. And shark. Don't worry, don't really worry too much about that. Um, let's just go inside. Challenge dungeon. Back into the labyrinth, Michi. Where would you like to start? Let me pull up something real quick just so that I know what we're doing here. Hope everyone's doing well out there though. Okay. We should probably start, um, I probably start in the second level. At least one thing we get, we get the true hero's armor. I think that's going to be good for Ichiban. But, um, we gotta work, we gotta definitely like work our way up to like get, to like get to level 40. Um, we gotta go ahead and clear, start clearing up levels though. Robo discs burn off. You can do for action star. the rooms
Mm -hmm. Your problem. This will be a good workout. あそこになんかあるぞ。さあ、先を急ぐぞ。Okay, let's go. Uh, proceed to the next floor. Hehe, <laughs> Missing person. Nanka Yimong Arizona, eh? I'll get him, you can. So 
腰がいいぜやっほら<笑>また強くなっちまったまた成長しちゃったまさかあんなやつが入ってるとは日本でも似たような男がいたがなんで変なやつは箱に入りたがるんださあ先に進もうぜ、うん、あそこになんかあるぞ開けてみるかやったぜ Fortunately, axe, okay. Not really what we need, but it's okay. It's fine.、Um, gotta go this way. Right now, we're just trying to clear it to get to the boss. This ain't a joke, dipshit. Really pissing me off. Well, we can go to the end now. あそこに何かあるぞ何でもできそう。This will be a good workout. Come to get it. So far, we're flying through these. Grab here. Go, Kurosa.
良さげなもの発見なんかいいもんがあるぞだぜあそこになんかあるぞおいいもん見つけなんかいいもんがありそうだぜよさげなもの発見。Alright, we made a giant loot. Let's explore like what's inside. Expect to see any of those. Around here. あそこに何かあるぞ。よっしゃ、どんどん進もうぜ。開けてみるか。開いたぜ。開けてみるかやったぜ Another missing person that we saved. We have a few more left.
I think we're good. Mid game boss fight, I think. Get ready for it's usually like a midway boss fight. Way to go, keep going up in levels and bond links, Sashi san. We're going, that's going down, right? Let's keep proceeding. <laughs> Classy hat. Okay. Um, it's kind of set at thirty, but. But it could be locked at 45 for all we know. We're gonna unlock this, um, unlock all the floors as much as we can. And if we need to, we'll repeat. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna look, it's gonna look different on like, on PC. Plus, I need a level, and this is like we need to do this anyway because uh, we have a lot that we kind of need to do. That's one of the reasons why I'm here. Uh, I mean, it's killing like really two birds with one stone instead of running around. But I haven't really had like any like huge issues. Um, well, I'm gonna be using that probably like a little bit later. Main thing is like right now I'm trying to do is like personalities and personalities and all the crafting materials that we need to get from here. Cause there's a lot, there's a lot of crafting materials. I, mean, I could probably like use like oh uh, not that but this these actually could come in handy later but I'm not gonna use it right now there is a regular restaurant buff but there's also like in battle buff as well.
I don't need it like right now. But... I've also done like some things um, like this. I don't know if you've like played around with this yet. I hear like these. Like, I could go to the machines and get, like, tons of Kiwami drinks if I really want to do. Yeah. I mean, you could use these, or you could use, like, like these, if you stock up on them, you can, like, carry a bunch of them. Um, but here, this is, a, this is something that I started doing. So, I, I'm going to see how it works, how it works out. But if you notice, if you go to your party, and you go to staff. You notice that certain classes are weak to, uh, not certain classes, but certain characters are weak to certain status elements, right? So what I did, if you look at Adachi, he's weak to charm. So I gave him, he hasn't been, we haven't had an issue where he has to be, he was charmed, but in terms of gear, it nullifies charm. So he's not weak against charm anymore. I've done that to almost every single one. Every single character has like a weakness like that. I have actually gone and um, fixed it. Except one. Uh, I have to get the, uh, what is it called? Like the masquerade mask. And um, that one decreases against like, uh, it makes it so Psycho doesn't get like raged basically. But like all of these, like I have, I have one that completely nullifies fire, one that nullifies silence, one that nullifies blind. Like I have all of these all done. Um, you'll look at it right here. Like I don't have this one. This is the one that I want to get that nullifies blind. I gotta look. I gotta look and see what chest it comes out of because it procs from a particular chest that one of the guys are guarding. So like. It, it, I mean, it's not, it's probably more of like an early game thing or like, you know, maybe like the first playthrough thing to like worry about this because eventually you can use like, um, like their, like their specific armors kind of like, will, will, like some of them will either class specific or, um, class specific armors or character specific armors will like kind of like. Some of them have nullification effects, and then you have to change your classes around to kind of work around it. But if you don't want to deal with that, you can, like, equip it. So, like, Cosmo doesn't have anything except he's, like, he's all around strong against everything because of um, the way his tree works. He just becomes resistant to everything. But if you want to, like, you know, if you want to, like, go into this, so far it works pretty well. Like, um, like I've used, like, this... Um, Good example. Um, fear, right? Fear. I don't have the one for for blind yet, but um, he has courage penance. So it nullifies fear. I think I think in certain cases when you're um I think like certain cases like like you have to kind of like think about your class though. I think what you do is you actually semi borrow certain moves to balance them out. Like for instance, like if I'm going to go Eric, right? I I actually I should go to um the uh what do you call it? Like the the dressing room so I can actually add like more fire resistant things so he can be so or or stuff from the cabbie and then i can have him do like um ice moves and fire moves and electricity moves right so he'll become like an all-around like magic captain nama's the same way except he's like the reverse he's like all fire and like namba's all about he's like the aoe king basically like aoe aoe fire king is namba on homeless I, I, I research. Um, but you can get like ultimates, right? Uh, eventually when you get the bond level high enough, you can get ultimates. Right? But you, I, I did things to kind of, I, I, I picked the specific classes to balance them. 
So a good example would be like Adachi. He's actually really slow. His agility is really slow. But if you put him with like a uh, samurai, and then you use like Chito uh, you would use um. We're not really using him, but uh, using Sonyi. But you can use Sonyi and and like do um. Uh, what is it called? It's um. It switches the characters, right? So what you could do is you could do like really fun things like where you could do like um, use her specifically just to swap. You could swap to like any character and then boom, you just either you can heal, you can you have a choice basically to figure out which one you want. Substitution jutsu, yeah. Um, it's good for all characters, but um, like um, I have my roles kind of set up. So Chitose, the way Chitose is set up, she's like a, um, basically like a buff healer magic type. So you, you, you know, she's still like the main, like, she's like basically like kind of like a role, like idol, but, um, Chitose has some, like the, the pirate dancer actually has some really, really good damage out there. Idol is really good, like for like first playthrough, and then like when you get to like, like if you want to play like um, New Game Plus and you want to play on Legend, you probably would want to swap her off to maybe possibly like Housekeeper, because then you could you have the you have access to the heal um, from Idol or um, uh, what is it? There's another there's another one that heals all allies, right? Heals all allies. And then, um, so Echo has like a, I think her character armor has like a, um, it's not an MP boost, but it's like, she rarely ever runs, like, I think it's like, um, like she has an innate, like, um, gains MP for every enemy she kills, or anytime she kills an enemy or something. Because one thing that's really strong in the game is charm. And so Echo with, with charm can actually be really powerful. But she only gets it when she accesses the, the final weapon. All of her attacks go charm. And charm is really, really strong because it can... Um, basically, turns enemies into your bitch and they can attack you. And how effective you are in casting charm will make that strong. So, but like as a main healer like for like the second group like it's a good it's a good thing. but she has like aoe heals she doesn't have to heal all the time too and then like you know com you combo that with the substitu uh, substitution jitsu you can just heal all the time like you need to heal you just substitute psycho heal right away and then you'll get your turn back and then you can do like something else like deal blade damage or deal, ice, or deal elemental damage in combat. So that's why I have it set up this way. Once we get like um, Jungi Han and like, um, uh, we haven't gotten Jungi Han and Zhao. Once we get them, we're gonna swap over. I think we're gonna swap, leave Jungi Han as gangster because he has access to blade and guns. And that's one thing that we don't really have is guns. I mean, we have guns to um, Adachi right now. Um. But Jungi Han, um, gangster class has like, um, high agility. He has high agility, blades, and gun, um, blades and, and gun. And then Zhao, we're gonna play around with Zhao, but I think Zhao would be really good with Desperado. Because he can crit all the time. I've been doing my research, looking at like the different, um, skills for every class and character classes. And and also seeing what the weapons are going to be. And gear, right? The gear pro the gear perks, basically, that we get. Because Ichiban is actually, like, there's two ways you can really play him. You can either play him as ultimate mage, or you can play him as, like, basic hero. And um, Ichiban is a Sujiman master, depending on how you get Sujiman. <laughs> He's actually can be very very strong it's just that he doesn't he doesn't have access to crit that's the only downside 
All of his skills are all magic based. So it's straight magic. Straight, straight. Magic. And it's kind of nice. Um, I think the, 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 the drawback though from Ichiban um, with if you go if you go the Sujima route is you don't have a weapon for him. So you don't get a weapon perk from him. So you can't you have to like you have to use other things to to um, balance him. Uh, he's balanced out with magic, but you got to go all you got to go all in on that. And and unless you're like sometimes it's like you're going to be in a position where you might have a physical damage um, enemy that just has a high, high health pool resistances to all magic, right? Uh, Kiryu, Kiryu is actually really strong, I think, in my opinion, because of his tree. Because he's, uh, because after you get him up to a certain point, he's resistant to everything. Like, charm, blindness, fire, or, except elements. But he's blind to all of the, like, annoying ones, like blind, silence, charm um fear um all those ones that like can basically skip your turn and then you just auto attack with him pretty much you just really auto attack with kiryu because because oh, because he has prox his proximity damage is so good yeah basically I know that you eventually get him like like you eventually like can swap like party leaders. We won't go into that like, right now, but I know that you can go into that eventually. I saw some bots on that. But we're just taking our time um kind of in this area. And I wanted to I wanted to pick like a team that was kind of fun, kind of fun to play. So that's why we did it. That's why we have a set up. Dude, like I am only like maybe about 90 hours in and I feel like I'm, I'm stressing out. Oh, it's tough. Like, I have other games that I need to play, but it's this game is so big. <laughs> like it's one of the biggest game. <laughs> I think this is the biggest Yakuza game that has ever came out. There's so much to do. And and you know the only the only thing that's not necessarily fun maybe to some people is like or very niche is maybe the Pokemon, the Sujimon stuff you know, that's really the only one that's kind of like kind of you know very niche or the, the Doko Island is very niche. But I mean like like the the party chats are super fun. Um, the uh, the party chats are super fun. The um, what else is there? You know, like doing all of the the bonding stuff. Those missions are really really fun. Um, the class systems, well, while for an RPG, it's kind of basic. And I do kind of uh, someone said it was. Kind of basic. And I do kind of agree on that. But everything feels really fun to do, so it. It, you know, they focus a lot on the humor aspect of what you can do. And it's very fun, even though some of it's making So, I can't really complain too much. Like, a lot, as long as the game is fun, it can have its problems and not be, like, super difficult. Um, I heard, I heard New Game Plus is not really, not really necessarily difficult. It's just a lot of HP sponges. But, um, like, base game, I mean, the game is super fun. Super, super fun. And being able to bond with your teammates, being able to, like, do certain things, or feeling rewarded for doing something super random that you don't necessarily, you wouldn't necessarily want to do, but you end up doing it because, oh, I need... I need something from it. it. It doesn't feel necessarily like a chore. It feels like you take forever, sometimes forever to do it. But it, you feel very, um, oh, what do you mean? like you feel like you re, like you achieve something. It's worth your time, worth your while. 
Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. It's very similar to the palm trees, yes. I do know that. And sometimes you get an enemy encounter like the palm trees, too. Or manholes, too, right? Manholes are the same. As well, I think. <coughs> cool. Um, we're still exploring. Gotta be like other things. Get <laughs> and I like if the enemies are super easy, we can just hit a button and we don't have to worry about them. We don't have to waste time and fight. And and you know in the previous chapter, Omega, the previous chapter with all the memoirs of a dragon. That I think was like the best part of the game. So. And it was fun to do all the part-time hero stuff. And I was surprised how much money we made. Like all the money from that part-time hero stuff. But it felt fun. It felt fun to come back and um, like have them mention things from like the previous games and have Kiryu reminisce about the old, um, the old, the old games. That was super fun. Like I did is I did practically almost every single one of them that I could because they were so good. I, I think the most heartwarming one that I've gotten so far at, at this particular spot is probably the, uh, pocket race. But, um, you know, the time we meet, uh, we, we see Komaki was also really good. Too. Oh, that's fine. I mean, we're like, we got our team in, in Yokohama all the way up till, um, roughly about level 40. Cause we didn't lock the, the dungeon in that area, but we got to level 40. So we did pretty good. I did. I didn't really fight that much in terms of like random fights. It was all. I mean, there were a few fights we had to absolutely do because we had to get weapons, like weapon precursors. But, um, majority of the part-time hero stuff, like fighting those, um, and we had to like actually fight some of those damn crowns, you know, grouped up enemies, to get to like some of the part-time hero stuff because they were just in our way um like some of those some of those bot like I, I like to call them mini boss fights because they're kind of like mini boss fights some of those were like really challenging and also at the same time i was leveling i didn't really even feel like i was necessarily like needing to like grind it felt fun to do and we were needing to do it anyway so but that was kind of fun that they, that they have it. I feel no, like I feel like that. when we're in Hawaii though, we don't really get too much because our we don't really get part time hero stuff here. All of our grinding is pretty much inside this. I think this because we don't have a reason to really go to those those other spots unless we're trying to get like really specific accessories. So I'm enjoying I'm enjoying my time. We're gonna take our time to do all this. Come on, fight. Nice. Yeah, grinding here is pretty much the play, and you need to be. You need. We, you, we have a reason to that we have to be here anyway. Like, it's not like we. I mean, it's cool to do, but we have to be here. Like, there's a reason why. Like, we need to get those robo discs so we can buy like more fragments and stuff. Mon 
クあるのかスーパーチャンスだはできてるぜ全力でかまってなんだとえー I know the shark fin is a lot I've heard that it might be easier to maybe fish for it um but、uh, we're gonna wait <laughs> we're gonna wait a, uh wait till we uh wait till we do one but i know it's like 15,000 discs that we need for it so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna spend any money on like the cds until maybe we're like trying to do like increasing kazuka's personality or something Maybe that's when we'll use it. Well, I just started, man. I just started. It's gonna take me a while to get to that point where, where I can do that. Here that I forgot about. I know. Once we get to the late game, we're at like level 40. From there, we're just gonna do like the highest tier the grind. We don't need to do anything else. We just gotta get our. We just gotta unlock the, unlock the dungeon. I'll get the Miruka. Probably a dude.、Yep. Mystery monster. Well, that's, that's a pretty good that's a pretty good farm actually. It's a pretty decent farm. Oh、uh, well, yeah, we gotta go we gotta go out this way. We gotta go like this way. That's a pretty that's a pretty good farm though. A thousand, two thousand. It's pretty like. I'll say it's pretty good. Tough to see. Let's keep going. Yeah, once you get to the last five floors, you're pretty much set. That's really like all you really want. And then you can just basically keep like re farming for like, if you want to go for armor, you just. Stay around the whole area. You just keep going back and forth. Like, go for the chest, leave, come back, do the chest one more time, leave, come back. I think it's like level 40 or something. Finally, bad guys. I'll take your life, too. No shot. You go there. But that's not even there. So she got easy. 
One at a time. Makeshift sound Cross Kringles, right? That's the name of their that's the enemy name. Cross Kringles. More Robodesks. Okay. Let's go down this one. Santa Claus, yeah. Instead of giving... But you know what's really funny? They do give you presents, though. They do give you presents. I'll bury you! <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we don't want one to give you to be charmed, right? <laughs> so thankfully, yeah, like um None of our characters can be charmed right now, which is great. <laughs> we can be silenced though. Um, Chitosa can be can be silenced. So that's fine. Um, yeah, we gotta go here. Let's see. No, close, Don't want a charming present. Presence of a present or get nuked to the face. <laughs> that's true. That's definitely true. Rescued four out of five. We have like one more. Probably on this. It's probably going to be on this level. Ooh, one more of these. Yeah. So I have a question. If you went with um, the Kazuka weapon, which one did you go for? The main hero bat? Or did you go for the golden shit, literally? <laughs> I'm very curious. Oh, he made both of them. Oh, yeah, yeah, because he made both of them. Which do, you, which do you feel is better, though, out of the two? Oh, wow, this is like the exit. They're in Maracas. But the shit one looks shiny. Got it. In ter in terms of like damage, what do you think is what you which one do you think is better? <laughs> true, true. Oh, you're the last guy. I think it has a really cool debuff effect. Especially if you're reversing a non-electricity like non-electricity weakened enemies. 
Like, like if you were, I think if you were using like, um, uh, Tommy with his like, you know, um, uses ice and then increases like, uh, decreases resistance to electricity, and then you had like Pazgo because you know uses regular back because all like, all electricity moves. I think it's pretty good, but I like that um, the other weapon deals with poison. Because poison can be effective. It's, there, there were a few enemies where, man, they were like healing like, non stop. And they're a pain to deal with. Yeah, it's like Christmas of debuff, which is good. I think I think Kazuga is just like raw. Like I think his like his main weapon is like uh, blunt with like stun, which can be can be helpful. It's like brute force blunt stun damage. Raw magic ish. Well, if the lightning one is better. You might need a little bit of a setup to uh, increase the efficiency of, of, ele of electricity and paralyze. And have you? I have a question. Have you used the the linebacker um, drop class? I wasn't sure if he got the DLC. I was curious if he played around with linebacker. I think linebacker is like the equessential tank. Because I was looking at the stats and all he is is... Uh, like all he really does is ag like hold aggro. Like everybody just attacks him. And he compensates it. He compensates that with like life and like you know, um, like party boosting, um, like morale boosting, attack boosting, which is essentially what a paladin does. Here, okay, it's not safe to be here. Cool. Last person got saved. Oh, nice. Room is trash. I gotta go back to the main room. Oh, we gotta go back down here. Nice. You asking for a You gonna cry for a Here, no, nothing just an enemy. So let's go this way. Then we have boss fight, right? I think it's boss fight. We're gonna get the boss room, then an actual boss fight. Yeah, most. Yeah, his health pool is really, really small. And like now you know now, his weakness is, is uh, silence. So now you can use that item, an accessory, so he doesn't get silenced. Right? You might get charmed, but at least like you have one resistance that he's not, um, where he can get hit that he won't be hit all the time with. Let's proceed to the next one. It should be the last one. At least for like beginner, right? I think it's like beginner level. Namba originally was always good as host. Um, he can really be like either one, really. Um, I think that he. 
I think the main thing is that host is very single target um, with the ice attacks. It's very like, um, like what do you call it? Like he does a lot of attacks that are in a line. So things have to be like, you know, in like when you're using the host class, it has to be like in a straight line all the time. Well, um, I can argue that his homeless, his homeless class has more AOE stuff where he can do like, like if you do pigeon raid, right? If you do pigeon raid, you can hit one enemy and it attacks a bunch of them, right? Yeah, I mean, everybody has their own like way of like synergizing with their group. So it's all about play style. It's all about play style. I mean, you could technically go ahead and like run around with like a group of samurais if you wanted to, or you could make like a whole group of like one type and, and you're playing, you're playing around with a particular mechanic and that's totally fine. Um, that's one of the reasons why it's, I think this game is super fun because you have a little bit of flexibility to jump around quite a bit to see what you like and then if you don't like it you can swap it right there's no real like best build there are there are builds that are going to be more efficient you know in terms of like your playstyle but you just figure out what is going to be the best for you right right I think ultimately that's what RPGs are about. All RPGs are like that. Where it's not about like a particular there are there are certain mechanics that you do need to know. But if you're playing around, you can figure out ways to manipulate it to the kind of style that you want. There's like um when I played FF seven before this, right? I was um in the end of the game, Yuffie, who had the she had the conformer. Yuffie was actually the strongest um, physical damage character in the whole entire game. She was ultimately the, the, the strongest single target character in the whole entire game. Now you could argue that you can do other things that deal more damage than what she can do. But in terms of single target, she was like invincible. Because she had... Um, I believe six six counter attacks, six regular counter attacks with two um, two max out double cuts, right? So with six counter attacks, yeah, they're fully the mastered, hand full master material, right? Top. Six counter master attack materials. She could like anytime she ever got hit, anytime she ever got hit, she would deal. She would uh, she would basically counter eight uh, like six times. Right, so she would counter six times, but her, but her weapon damage is actually based off of, her weapon damage is based off of the level of the enemy she verses. So the stronger the enemy is, the stronger the level that her enemies are, the more powerful her, her attacks will be. Right, so if if someone just randomly attacks her, she'll attack for six times, and then when her turn comes up, you could attack the uh, the enemy for four more times. <laughs> And then whenever like she would randomly get attacked, she would attack for another eight more times. So whenever the enemy would attack, it would roughly deal 9,999 damage times six. It was like it like for a single target uh, character, she was su she's super OP at the end when you get her move. Now the 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 strongest, the actual strongest strongest um, yes. attack is. You attach counter um, counter magic, and you and you have like um, four of those, and you do knights of the round, and, and you equip those to four max out knights of the rounds. So the knights yeah, of the rounds will ultimately deal close to, I think, over like seventy thousand damage every single time that an opponent is hit, or any time that that one character is hit. And then you could put like final attack materia. Maybe you leave a one spot or, or a couple spots for final final attack materia anytime that that character is um if you have the materials completely maxed out anytime that that character dies we'll cast phoenix down uh, we'll cast a uh, phoenix of uh, summon and we'll revive everybody up to full life crazy right crazy stuff you can beat the whole entire game without doing all that. but it's all about how you play, right? It's all about how you want to play. 
there are crazy there there are crazy you know mechanics in the game that could either make your life harder or easier i defeated the weapons in the most brutal hard way <laughs> um a good example is like there was a there was a one of an optional boss fight where you have to actually start the you have to start the um the fight with two of your characters dead oh you hit you hit you hit uh, triple sevens that is pretty sweet that is pretty sweet yeah no getting no getting no triple no sevens God. or quadruple sevens that is pretty sweet <laughs> you could use like yeah you could use like toad and manipulate your life and like heal heal your way up That's super fun. I, I, I'm glad you actually got to play the original and, and got like a little bit of a taste of that because it's. I mean, it's good for like remake. We're not, we're not. It's not gonna feel like remake at all, but it's cool that you got to like experience like some of the shenanigans you could do with materia. <laughs> and it's not even like it's it's technically not a bug. It's actually like a. Um, oh, overpower. Yeah, there's the uh, overcharge basically. Yeah, you, the, now that now, uh, the overcharge I think is an actual glitch. Um, but um, manipulating with the quadruple sevens, that's not a glitch. I think that's an actual in game thing. It's in game secret thing. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's called like overload or overcharge because what it does is that the game basically reads that like the way that the, the the game is programmed is that damage is not like a minus it's just like a separate pool so it's a separate pool that when it reaches like a certain amount once it reaches that amount the characters will um like when it reaches like that per a particular number right that is our hp pool it will tell the game that the character is dead but there are ways where what the overcharge would do is from what i understand it um in binary code in binary code it flips one of those numbers around and it like offsets the, the the damage output that is beyond what it can read and it just damages it reads it as a death basically as one hit so it's changing one of the binary numbers to make it go beyond its its capable like total total amount and because it can't read it, it just instantaneously counts it as a death. Well, this will be fun. I haven't done the boss here yet, so this should be fun. Your face misses me. I believe it's I believe it's Vincent and Barrett who do it. Yeah, huh? Those are the two that I think I think it is. Yeah, they do it slightly different. I think one uses like death blow. I think Vincent uses death blow for his, and then Barrett uses like something else. There's certain things you have to do. Even in you know, there's even a re really weird one where you like in remake, right? FF7 remake, you could use like the enemy skill like self destruct, and if you had a high enough like, because you can get like the, the materia that resists. Um, uh, forget what it is but it's it's like the spell material or something like that where it it nullifies um death right it nullifies death or something like that. i have something like that for spoilers uh i pre i pre-programmed that that in sorry about that um and things are going to be like changing once I actually do, um, like when I actually put in, when I actually start playing Rebirth, um, I might do something where, um, uh, followers can only chat if they've been, I mean, you've been here for quite a, quite a while already, so you're going to be totally fine. Um, but people can after people follow they can only chat after probably i don't know i'm gonna put something like two weeks after after following 
And the reason is because I want to be as far away from spoilers as much as possible. So it's going to be that. I was debating whether or not I wanted to do sub only, but I felt like that was a little bit too aggressive. You know, I didn't want to force anybody to um, spend money on the channel just to, you know, just to, you know, just to deter them from spoiling or, or deter them from talking about the game. Um, but I did want to make it slightly harder for, for a new person to come in and spoil it. Right. So, um, I have some I have some things set in there where I'm probably gonna do follower. It's probably gonna do a fo I'm probably gonna set up as a follower only chat, but I'm gonna set the the like follower only like first message because you know that they have to be subscribed. They have to be a follower of two two weeks or one. Yeah. Well, sometimes it's like they say that it's not on purpose, but it's definitely. On purpose. And I had that happen to me once with uh, when I was doing a. Spider-Man PS PS4 play, and they were like spoiling the whole entire like freaking movie. <laughs> like, I'm like, dude, like, calm down. I had to time him out for like a day. Yeah, I had to time him out for a whole entire day because it was it was spoiling the whole um, um Spider-Man, um, No Way Home, like, and to everybody. Yeah, if it's like super minor, then that's like not so bad. But if you're gonna go and like, you know, say like, oh yeah, did you hear about this? Blah 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 blah. I'm like, dude, like shut up. I don't want to hear you. And if you keep going, it's like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna time you out for like a year. And I've done that before, where I timed him out for 360. Like, it was it was something like 1,000 seconds or something. I was like, by the time you, by the time you like this, you're out of your time out. I'm pretty sure you're out of decide if you're gonna stay in this channel. So. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do some very specific things to prevent prevent spoilers. Let's see. What are these guys weak against? Um, let's do ultimate team attack on everybody. I I am I am okay with spoilers if um if we are already ha like I'm okay with talking about events that have already happened already through our play um and I don't mind talking about side content that has nothing to do with main story like for instance like if people want to talk about you know um. If people wanted to talk about like, oh, there's a cool mini game that's going to be coming out, you know, do you want to talk? Like, I would ask permission, right? This like, can we talk about it? Or, um, you know, things that have already been in like marketing, like the trailers, right? Like, you know, like Dondoko Island, you know, I, I, I'm cool with people talking about how Dondoko Island, um, like what the mini game is like, you know, like that's totally fine. But when you're talking about like very specific, like spoiler um, plot details that haven't happened yet, um, I don't want to talk about anything, anything about that. In fact, Omega, I, I know you've played the, the original, right? FF7. I have a mod who's not here tonight, but she hasn't, she doesn't know anything about the flashbacks and, and, and the tree events that happened to Cloud. And for, for VOD purposes, for people who are watching on YouTube, I'm not going to explain like what that's about, but, um, she's been sheltered enough not to know what ha what's happened. She doesn't even know the big, like WTF moment of the game that we all, that 99, 99.99% 99 .99 of people know of. It. She's been completely like had the sheets completely covered over her eyes for over 30 years. So. We're not talking about anything that is Come happening on. in the previous games. We're... The 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 uh, I would say the moments that everybody cries. <laughs> Moment. Oh. Well, you're in for a ride if you've never played the original. 
I will say that um, I'm glad that I've been very cryptic in what I've been talking about. I will say that if this is anything like the original, this is going to be like the Empire Strikes Back tone at the end of the game before we get to the third, the third installment. So there's going to be a lot of really happy moments, and fun moments. Um, but I don't think we're necessarily going to be like super happy. Um, I feel like there's going to be a lot of stuff. That happens. There are ways to break, there are ways to kind of break the game. I mean, there's fighting mechanics. That you can do. It's more action, -y, you know, that's the one thing. But story wise, it's going to be, um, Ooh, you're weak against fire. Shoot. Have this. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Oh. Okay. Ow. Ow. Alrighty, I'll see you in a bit, Omega. I'm gonna try and kill these guys while you're gone. What? Really? You... Okay, fine. You know what? Here. Have another one of these. Oh, who cares? All right, you know what? Here, <laughs> like, you know what? Here, all right, Korea, or in a shinko joy, Matatsuka, that's what the everybody's loving up slowly. Banana, nice, Matasa, just up that sweet. Oh, yeah, hello, kick. Okay. All right, that's the last floor. Got metal shins for the first time. Nice. My sense of detective, you have ventured quite a ways in, Michi. I'm impressed. Currently, I'm approximately 30% charged. Sorry, but I'll have to rely on you a bit longer. I'll be cheering on you, Michi. Very lay. All right, well, let's see. Let's look at gear real quickly for you guys. I wonder if I can get. Ooh, evade. Perfect. It really increases items in battle. Ah. It really increases job experience. Okay. Nullifies curse into KO. I'm gonna have to look for the item that decreases blind. That's gonna be the big one. Um, let's see. Does that mean I can go back now? Ooh. Divine at night. Okay. Let's see if I can exchange items.
何でもできそうな気分だ。We need a lot of rainbow crystals, though. This is the big one. We need, like, I don't know, like, a hundred of these. Something. Let's talk to you all the time. Get for this one, this is me. Item drops four thousand, it's pretty good. Six hundred from here. Tell you what, we're gonna go ahead and put ourselves into ads real quick for people on YouTube. But we're gonna cut this segment off and then we're gonna do sector two, and then uh, we'll go from there. We'll see how we'll see how this one goes, but we'll be right back, guys. You guys, um, take care. 